Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To use the brush tool in Photoshop Elements, select it from the toolbox and make sure the color to apply is selected as the foreground color. The brush tool shares a button in the toolbox with the Impressionist brush and Color Replacement tool. The toolbox's button shows the icon of the most recently selected of these tools. The button appears above the Paint Bucket tool in the toolbox by default. Click this button, and then make sure to select the Brush tool in the Tool Options bar if needed. Next, select the layer to which to add the brush strokes in the Layers panel. The highlighted layer in this panel is the currently selected layer and the layer to which you apply the brush strokes. Oftentimes, if you try to apply an effect and it doesn't appear in the image window, it is because you selected the wrong layer in the document. After selecting the brush tool in the toolbox and tool options bar, different options also appear in the tool options bar that change how you apply the brush tool's strokes. If you change the brush tip and brush options for the brush tool to settings you frequently use, you can save those settings as a preset tool you can then easily select in the future to apply the same brush tip and brush options. We will examine how to do this in the next chapter. First, you must learn which options you can set for the brush tool. However, to select a preset brush tool in Photoshop Elements, click the Brush Preset Picker dropdown in the Tool Options bar, and then double click a brush preset to use in the menu that appears. To set the brush tip size, use the size slider or type an exact size measurement in pixels into the field to the right of the slider and press the Enter key. To set the blending mode of the brush tool, which changes how the brush stroke applies color and interacts with the color of the pixels it is painting over, select a choice from the Mode dropdown. You will examine blending modes in depth in the next lesson. To set the tool's transparency level, click and drag the opacity slider to the desired percentage, or type an exact percentage into the field to the right of the slider and press the Enter key. To apply the brush stroke using a buildup technique that simulates using an airbrush, click the Airbrush Mode button in the Tool Options bar. Alternatively, to apply brush strokes using the default brush stroke application style, click the Brush Mode button. Tablets let you paint with a pen tool in your hand in Photoshop Elements, instead of using the mouse and keyboard. To choose which brush stroke options you can control using the pen of most pressure-sensitive digitizing tablets, click the Tablet Settings button. Then check the checkboxes for the options you want the pen on the tablet to control in the Tablet Settings pop-up menu that appears. When finished, click the X button in the upper right corner of the panel to close it. If needed, to change the brush dynamics, which are settings that let you imitate different brush strokes and effects, click the Brush Settings button in the Tool Options bar to open a panel that lets you change these settings. You will learn how to change brush dynamics settings in detail in the next chapter. To close this panel, click the X button in the panel's upper right corner. To then use the brush tool in Photoshop Elements, click and drag with the brush tip icon that appears when you hover over the image window to paint. The icon represents the width of your brush tip. If the brush strokes don't appear as desired, you can reverse your steps in the History panel 
and try again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.